Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, issue eight, uh, written by Robert Vendetti and art by Ethan Van Skyver. So, I do have to briefly touch on issue seven because it was important. It was the end of the arc. Right. Okay. And if you recall the issue before last time, I was talking about this. Hal and Sinestro were about to fight because, of course, they bloody were. Yeah, because they can't be friends. Like their their whole partner yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Been that, out the that, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Basically, just really quickly, uh, Sarnik rescues Guy and a bunch of other yeah uh, Sinestros are like with them. They they think mm. what Sinestro is doing is wrong, and so they're kind of taking some prisoners of war off War World, and they're just kind of you know getting out of there and escaping. Mm-hmm. As this fight is going on. And Hal and Sinestro basically explode the whole planet and destroy themselves in the process. They're gone. What? Yeah, they're gone <laughs> from the book. Hal, Hal Jordan is no longer in his own book. That won't last. It won't yeah. last. Of course it won't last. And that was, uh, that was my exact reaction. I was like, oh, I wish this could just be permanent for now. Or, you know, not, not like forever, but just a while. See, as as is, long as Vin yeah, is well, on it's, a, it's like what we say in Green Lanterns, like... The further we can get from the emotional core every time, see, see the thing better is, it is when they do show up. See, the thing is, if they just called this the Green Lantern Core, right? If it was just Green yeah. Lantern Core, then you'd buy it, wouldn't you? You would buy this for a while. It's like, I mean, you'll, it'll be back eventually, sure, he's held Jordan, he's not going to be gone forever. Yeah. But you would buy it, or maybe for the next few arcs or whatever, we, we all just have, you know, Guy and John and whoever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that is kind of a problem, but to be fair, they barely address it in issue eight. So it opens on the ring, you know, Hal's special ring that he forged out of willpower himself. So sure. <laughs> it's flying around going, uh, must like searching for Hal Jordan error. And it's, right. it's just flying around. And that's it for that for until the end of the issue, which I'll get to obviously at the end. But that's just the one page. And that's the only time it's really addressed. So the yellows and Zoranek and Guy, they all show up. And meet up with the the rest of the greens because obviously there's not that many of them now, right? And they retake Sector Zero and you know reestablish that this is oh, uh... yeah with uh, they got Mogo there as the you know yeah. home base. That's it. And good stuff. Guy is standing around naked the entire time, and the, and and John's like, "Come on, charge your ring and put on some damn clothes." And he's just like, "Nah, I'm good," <laughs> because of course he is. <laughs> Any other character, you're just like, that's dumb. But the guy Gardner, you're like, I get it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He has no shame. None. <laughs> He's like a puppy. He has no shame. Yeah. But they're like, oh, was was that you who did that? And he's like, no, nah, that was Hal. And they're like, okay, cool. <laughs> that's it. Like, they <laughs> don't go, where is he? What happened? And they're like, whatever. <laughs> and the thing is, I should complain. But I kind of feel the same way. It's like, I don't care. I don't want to know. Just, just go, eh, whatever, forget it. Oh, man. It's just kind of sad. But anyway, they're, they're resetting, setting up base, getting communications back up. And, of course, there's instantly a crisis. Uh, Tomatu's planet is being attacked. Okay. So they all go on down, of course. And it turns out, this is where Matt might perk up a little bit, mm-hmm. it's Starro. Uh-oh. Yeah, oh, Starro. We've already had Starro this week. I know, I know, but it's you know like big Starro. Right, big Starro. Yeah. 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 Starro Prime. Starro, not, not we we forgot to mention in New Superman they were genetically genetically modified Starros. Yeah. GMS. Yeah. That's Here, this is originally Starro. Yeah. The and Starro. So they're, they're coming in. They're starting to fight, Starro. and Starro kind of just leaves, and they're like, "Well, that seemed easy." And so they go to leave, and they're stuck in. It's like there's in a, you know, I mean, the, the title of the arc is Bottled Light. And uh, guess who but Brainiac. Brainiac. Yeah. There we go. Well, it's... you know, Tomar Ray was the reason that Krypton exploded. Nobody could do anything about it. Yeah. Because he wrote his report too late. So. <laughs> I just thought uh... there's, there's this real growing trend of Superman related characters showing up at the end of issues uh, that Matt's not reading. <laughs> It's, it's really cracking me up. You know, it if is. it wasn't called Bob of Light, I wouldn't believe him. I would feel he wants me to read it so he has someone to talk about it with. <laughs> but the fact that it is called Bob of Light, it matches Brainiac's MO. Yeah, so... no, uh, no, I'm I'm not bullshitting you on this. This is, you know, Brainiac's there. He's got them all in, in a bottle. 
and that's kind of the end of the issue there with with that storyline. But it's kind of fun. There's you've got Green Lanterns being Green Lanterns, responding to threats that aren't to do with other core space. Yeah, space you, you, cops. You, yeah, you have you have some obviously like light politics with with the, them not trusting the Sinestros and you know of well, course well yeah I mean yellow and green are opposite like that's why you, yeah. you know but but the yellow show up to help anyway yeah. because Saranik's leading them and you know she's good I just don't un- understand how you can instill fear when you're there to save people <sighs> hey Batman don't instills question. fear all the time just if... but not in the average person he instills well, sure. if you're not doing what you're supposed to you know what I mean? Like the the Sinestros come to help my planet. I'm like, well, they're, wait, they're, they're oh, not, they're helping. I'm no longer afraid of them. They're not trying to f- uh, put fear in the the people on the planet. Though. They're trying to put fear in whoever's doing the wrong thing. So, you know, they can just make them scared. They, they were until it got you know twisted. Yeah. <laughs> until they were a bunch of rabid dogs that got let off the chain. Uh, yeah. But it's actually kind of fun and. Good. I'm like it's it might be the best issue yet because there's no Hal to distract from that. You've got Guy doing fun stuff. You got John. You got Brainiac. You've got Star Up. Woggy. Is Kilowog still there? He's around. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what, what, what more do you want? And then no, at I the just... end, we we kind of yeah. come back to the the ring flying through, and it flies onto a planet, and you see the two guys. You see Sade and Gaffnet sitting around. Oh. Yeah, so... I haven't thought of those things in a the, while. Yeah, it's it's actually pretty good, this issue. I'm not going to lie. I enjoyed it. I feel See, like... When, when you said I was going to enjoy the end, I kind of thought for a half second uh, that, that Hal's showing up as Spectre. Oh, man. You know? Because that's what that he was, was awesome. before. Yeah. He was a Green Lantern. You I know? feel like but... this plot's more interesting, but I think I'll get just the right amount of enjoyment just hearing you tell me what it is rather than actually going and reading that. The thing is... I think Venditti is not bad. It's just that he didn't get Hal at all. He never yeah. got Hal's voice right for me. Yeah. And well, see, now that's that where... he's out of the picture for now, no. That that's where I was at when I dropped Green Lantern and Green Lantern Core because I was enjoying his Green Lantern Core, but it was just crossing over too often. Yeah. You know, because I was enjoying the Dominator or the the Durlins and hmm. John and and that stuff. But I was just like, well. You're crossing over with Green Lanterns and Red Lanterns again. I just I don't have time yeah. to, to read this. So, you know, I get that. Venditti might just be better with not Hal. Yeah, What's no, I honestly think it, I think it is a case of those two are just not yeah. working for him. But, like, John and Guy are pretty great. And if you if you have time, I'd recommend maybe maybe jumping yeah. back in. Maybe, maybe I will. 